Hello everyone, this is Ken Ebrini from Cambridge Tech and welcome back. So in this series of videos, we are building a block application. And now we are done with the um, post detail page. We are through with the edits and um, obviously the delete functionality of this web application. So in this session, we are going to look at the comment session and we are just going to build the interface as we move along. So I'm going to go into bootstrap and go to all releases and version 4.6 and i'm going to look for accordion because we are going to use an accordion um over there so there's accordion there are quite a number of options over here but i'll come to the very top and i'll grab this one so that uh, we'll have um, a link over there when we click on it we see the comments displayed so i'll copy this and inside of my First of all, let me close this because this is becoming too many. So I'll go into my post detail page template and let me locate the exact place. I think just about here. Okay. Just about here. I want the comments to show up over here. So inside the card body, I would want to have it here. So let me just type here and let's see yes exactly i want it here so i'll come and paste what i copied from bootstrap over here for the accordion and when i save this and come back to come and refresh this is what we have okay we are definitely going to change some few things over here but uh, for the purpose of this we are not going to use this button and obviously we are going to change this the link ref over here to comments and let me just hard code something over here like two and we're also going to get rid of this bootstrap classes over here okay so when i refresh this is exactly what we want when you click on it we see the comments and let's give some margin over here so i'll come to the very top over here into this paragraph which is um, wrapping up this comment i'm going to put out a bootstrap class of margin top of three so when I save and come back to come and refresh, yeah, we have this over here. That's good. So what we are going to do is we are going to put out um, some logic, okay, so that the comments for each post will be counted as we move along or as we keep commenting. And when we click on it, the comments will be displayed over here. So this is going to be like the body of the comments, okay, the body of the comments. And there are some few things I would want to do over here. Now, let's say um, we have a paragraph. So let me cut this and put this in a paragraph. So like every comment is going to be in a paragraph. And if I am to do a control C, control V of this paragraph a number of times, um, we are going to run into something i don't want us to see okay so when we click on it you can see that it becomes very long and we scroll along with the whole setup but i want us to have the scrolling taking effect from this session so what that i'm trying to do is i'm going to come into this card body class over here i mean this div and i'm going to put out some css styling over here so i'll put in style and i'll give a height of 250 pixels so when i do this you can see that we are going to limit this entire viewport to only 250 pixels so when i refresh and click on this you can see that we are now limiting the card okay it doesn't go beyond 250 but you can see that um whichever text we have over here is overflowing so we need to also add an overflow Y and we are going to make it scroll all right so that you can have that scrolling effect in here so when I refresh and click on this now you can see that everything is beginning to make sense over here now I have this scrolling thing over here we can scroll and this is where um, our content for the comments is going to be so now that we have this set up let me just um, take care of these dummy data and later on you are going to work with i mean the real comments so let me just clear these ones 
and when I save and let me also clear this as well so I think we are only going to have about two comments in here all right and let me put out a bootstrap class over here of txt justify and I'm going to do same for here all right so after doing this I think we now have a very good template to work with so we are going to move along and go into the back end and see how we put out the comments so i'm going to go into my block app folder and i'm going to go into the models.py so we have some comments then we need to save those comments in a model so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a class and i'm going to call this comment and comment is going to inherit from models dot uh, model like this and the first attribute you would want to specify so clearly a comment is going to be made by the logged in user so we are going to have a relationship with the user and also there's going to be a, a relationship with the post a particular post so those are the key main things we'll be looking at over here so we are going to say user is going to be equal to models dot and we are going to use the foreign key and we are going to link this up with the user and we are going to say on delete and we'll do models dot cascade then the next one is going to be the post so here is going to be models dot also we are using a foreign key we are linking this up and we are want we want to link it up with a post model this post model as we see over here and on delete models dot cascade so that whenever a post is deleted obviously the comment associated to it should also um, be deleted then i think we'd also need to have the comment itself the content of the comment so i'm going to have content over here and this one is going to be models dot char field and we are going to limit um the number of characters in here so i'm going to put out a max length and the max length is going to be 200 and now let me just give a strange representation of um, what we have over here so this is going to take in self and i'm just going to return um self dots i think let me just do comments so dot content okay so now that we are done let's go to admin.py and register this model so that we can have a look at it in the admin panel so over here i'm going to import this comment model as well and let me register it over here so i'll do admin dot site dot register and want to register the comment model and let me just change the name over here to comment because i don't want to be using the verbos name to change um, the name over here this is going to be pluralized all right so now we have this and let's run um, a migration so i'll do python manage dot pi and i'll say make migrations so we are through with the make migrations and we are also going to say python manage dot pi and we are going to migrate the model over here all right so i think we have this setup over here now let's come to the back end and see if um, everything worked okay so you have comments over here all right so let's go into comments and we have a problem over here no such table block comments so with this particular problem it had to do with um the database and the various tables so it says no site table as block this is the name of the project and it is prefixing the name of the model which is comment so remember there are a couple of relationships going on over here and i think it, this has to do with 
when I was creating it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my projects folder and this postscribers and I'm actually going to delete a couple of things over here in order to restart afresh. So the first thing I'm going to delete is this db.sqli3 database. So I'll delete this and it says the file is in operation. Okay, so what I need to do then is I need to close this up and I'm going to delete this. All right, then I'll go into the block application and go and delete everything in migrations. Okay, so what I need to delete is these files and I also need to delete this one as well. Okay, so we are leaving the underscore in it underscore dot pi. This is something we don't have to delete. Then we'll come back. We'll come back here and go into the users app as well. And inside of migrations, we'll delete everything of this nature. All right, so now that we are done, let's open up our project once again in VS Code. All right, so we have our projects opened up over here. Now let's um, do a migration so that everything will be created afresh. So I'm going to do Python manage.py and I'll do make migrations. So when I run this, we now have the db.sqli3 um, created. So this is like going to start everything from scratch. Then we are going to do python manage.py migrate. All right, so this is going to migrate all the models and in order to have access to it. So basically, if I'm to come back here and come and refresh, you can see that everything is going to clear off. Okay. I mean, besides, we are not even running our server yet. So let's do a Python manage.py run server. So now that our server is up, if I'm to run this, we don't have anything showing up over here. And later on, we are going to work with something over here, but clearly, you can see that we need to first sign in and um, do things of that sort. So you can sign in over here, but I would also want us to have access to the admin panel over here. So we need to sign in. And in order to do so, we need to create a super user. So I'll do Python manage dot pi and I'll do create super user. So I'll key in the old credentials, which is admin and the email is admin at gmail.com. This is just a pseudo email and the password. I'm going to type this one, two, three, four and yes to accept this. So now I can have access to the admin page. I'll type in my password. I mean, my username and the password. All right. So now we are in business. Okay. So it says no action available. There's like a fresh setup we have over here now when we click on comments we don't seem to have anything over here when we click on this everything is working perfectly so remember previously even clicking on this was becoming problematic all right so what i can do now is i'm going to come in here and um, log in so I'm going to log in as admin. I have admin already created and I'll type in the password. So when I click on login, I'm directed here. There, there are no posts over here. Admin will have the default avatar image. Admin can change the image and let's come here and make a post. So let's say this is going to be first post and inside the content i'll say this is a new post all right so when i post this we have this showing up over here 
admin is the author admin can come and delete and do whatever thing he has over here all right and as you can see we have this setup over here i mean we did this previously all right and let me also log out and try and sign up a new account so this is going to be kenneth and kenneth is going to have this email address and this is going to be the password so kenneth is going to sign up and now kenneth is asked to log in and i'll type in this as my credentials and now i can log in now let's go and change the profile image of kenneth so i'll click on this and i'll go into desktop and i have my images over here all right so for the images um, i'm going to choose this for kenneth and i'll click on save all right so everything is working perfectly now ken can obviously make a post okay so i'll see uh, i'll call this second post and i'll say post subscribers uh good writers all right so i'll post this and now you can see that ken is a logged in user so ken has the option to delete and edit the post he authored and if ken comes into admin post ken cannot do that basically this is what you've been working at now we are going to work with the comment session over here so now let's come into the admin session click on comments now obviously i need to log in as admin so i'll log out and come in here so after logging this is our comment session and if i am to um, kind of create a comment over here let's say the user is going to be um, let me say ken and the post is going to be the first post no let me yeah the first post and the content of the comment is i'm going to say this is the first comment so when i click on save you have this the first comment showing up over here all right so what we then need to do let me try and log in as admin over here so i'll log in and this comment was actually attached to the first post okay the first post so we need to actually come in here and into the first post see the comment listed over here okay currently we are just using some dummy text and then also we want to see the count of the comments showing up over here so we are going to jump straight into action over here and for the count we are going to create a method inside the post model we are going to create a method inside the post model so what i'm going to come down here and i'm going to call this um comment underscore count so comment underscore count is going to take in self and we are going to have a relationship with the post over here as far as the comment is concerned so we are going to do a return and we are going to return self dot comment okay and over here we are going to use a reverse relationship and i'm going to explain everything as we move along so what's happening here is you can see that it is this comment okay that we want to count but this comment or this comment has a relationship with the post and as you can see it is using a foreign key relationship over here and we are linking it up with the post model and we are creating this method in the post model so we are using a reverse relationship so we are going to say solve dot comment the name of the comment model over here underscore set okay and that's going to um have that reverse relationship that's how we do it over here then you do dot all and i'm going to see dot count all right so this is going to make this work over here so when i save this 
and go into our post details remember we want to have the counts showing up over here okay so instead of just hard coding to we want to see the counts over here so in this case let me come into the portion where we have this displaying over here and as you can see you see we are looping through post so we can also have within posts we can do post dots and i'm going to say comment underscore count so post dot comment underscore count is basically trying to access this method over here so when i save this and come back and come and refresh now you see that we now have a count of one okay we now have a count of one later on we are going to change the items being displayed over here we now have a count of one over here now if i'm to go back into the second post we have a count of zero because we haven't made any comment over here all right now let's come back here and make um, another comment over here and see if the count will increase and it is certainly going to be so so let's create a new comment and this time around let's say kenneth makes a comment and we are still working with the first post okay and i'm going to say this is this is a good comment let me say yeah this is a good example for postscribers to learn django the postscribers blog application is good so when i click on save now we can see that the first post okay has two comments over here now when i refresh we see that the count has increased to two but then if i'm to come back over here for the second post we still have zero over here now it is time for us to display the comments in the comment section so that when you click on this you are definitely going to see the comments um, the user typed over there then later on you are going to see how we put out a comment form over here so that immediately you type it over here it's going to display over here as well so in order to do that i'm going to quickly go into vs code so in order to do so i'll quickly have to go into the post detail page because that's where we want to have these comments showing up over here and this is by way the static comment that we have so i'm simply going to clear this one off and leave this and try and loop through over here so we are going to put out and let me shrink this a little bit so that we look at something on top over here remember we have this um post comment showing up over here now i'm going to put out a template tag and i'm going to say for comment in and we are going to have post dots comment underscore set dot all so over here we are trying to have access to the reverse relationship and that's um, basically what we did over here so um comment underscore set dot all and this time around we counted okay but in this case we just want to get everything and we could do this this way or we could have also just done it this way so def and i'm going to say um comments okay def comment and this is going to take in self and we are just going to return self dot comment okay self dot comment underscore set dot all so this is like half of this but in this case you see we are getting the count but in this case we just want the comment okay and yeah so we can save this and actually either use this okay method or try and write what you are trying to write over here so first of all we can use this method and let me end it up over here and i'm going to say n4 okay we close the loop over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to now change this and what we can do here is you can now pass in the data so we are going to say comment dot content remember we created this new variable over here so comment dot content and the content is actually going to be um, this content we have in the comment model so when i save this and we come back into our page when we come back to come and refresh and still our 
um, our comment count is still two. And once we click on it, you can see that we have the comment over here. So this is the first comment. And this is a good example for uh, beginners to learn Django. Uh, the Postscribers blog application is good. These were the things we typed in over here. So these are the comments. Okay. So basically, we can reverse the order and anything you want to do with it. It doesn't really matter over here. So this is the first stage or the first way we do it. Remember, I've also created a method over here. Okay, this comment method inside the post model. And since you are using the reverse relationship, you can just have access to the comments over here. So I can see, um, yeah, instead of doing for comments in post dot um comment underscore set dot or you can simply do for comments in comments okay for comments in comments and this is actually accessing the method right away and you can see the method is comments so we are saying that for comments in post dot comments we want to get the comment dot content and this is also going to work. So when I refresh and we come back here, it is still going to work. Okay, nothing has changed. And if we are to go back into our second post, and you can see that there are no comments over here. So the second post has the comment of zero. Now the next thing to do is to put out the comment form over here so that you can type in the comments from the user interface and see it being counted over here and we'll move on. We are going to create in a form over here. So inside our blog app, inside forms.py, remember we had this forms created, the post model form and the post update form. Now we are going to create the comments form over here. So I'm going to create a class over here and I'm going to call this comments form. And this is going to inherit from forms dot model form. And first of all, I need to import the comments model over here. So I'm going to import comments. And we are going to specify a class meta. So we have class meta and we need to specify the model we are creating this model form for. So the model is going to be comment. And the last attributes we specify or we need to specify is the fields. And for the fields, it's going to be um, content. And I think we need to bring a trailing comma over here. Let me pull this up. I think our dev server is working. All right, so let's work with this and let's go into views.py. So inside views.py, where we have our post detail page that's exactly where you want to have the form okay because this is our post detail page you want to have the form over here so the first thing i'll do is to import the form class i just created over here so that's going to be the comments form and i'm quickly going to jump into it over here so i'm going to say if the request dot method is equal to post Then I'm going to call this C form, which is like the comment form is going to be equal to the comment form, um, the instance of this class over here. Then I'm going to have this request.post in order to grab everything over here. And I'll do else the C form is now just going to be the comment form empty like this. And inside my context dictionary i'm just going to have the c form over here and the c form like this so inside the post detail dot html i can have access to c form so right over here post detail i think the form is supposed to let me see um outside this div class let me just try and say C form over here and see where it will pop up. So let me refresh and we have C form over here. Okay, so I think this is good for where we want to place our C form. So I'm just going to put out the HTML form tag and we are going to use a method of post 
and the first thing i would want to have over here is my csrf token and inside this i'm going to have the c form display over here and let me quickly add my crispy form tag over here so my crispy filter is here and i'm going to use an input of type submit and i'll type in comments over here and let me add a bootstrap class of btn btn dash primary and let me do a btn dash sm for small all right so if i'm to come here and come and refresh uh, we seem to have an issue where it says um, invalid block tag csrf dash token is supposed to be underscore token so underscore token all right so when i refresh all right so as you can see we have the form showing up over here and we can type in our comments now what i would want to do is i would want to get rid of this comment label over here and also put in a placeholder so in order to do that let's go into forms.py and it's actually going to um, almost be like what we did over here so you see within the content input field we created or uh, we modified things over here so i am simply going to grab this okay i'm going to do a control c over here and i'll come in here and do a control v and we are going to change some few things over here so first of all i want to grab the label so the label we are going to leave the label empty like this so if the label is empty and when we save this you can see that when we refresh we're going to get rid of this comment over here so when i refresh you can see that the comment has been taken care of now you can see that this has also been increased and that's because of the attributes we had over here but this time around we want to use the placeholder attribute so within placeholder we can have um, a text so i'm going to say add comment here so when i save this and come back over here to come and refresh now we have add a comment here and it has even gotten bigger and that's simply because we are using the text area so i'm going to change this to test input so when i save this once again we are going to have it smaller okay nicer this way and when we click on this we have our comments showing up over here all right so i think this is good so now let's complete the logic in our views.py so inside our views.py um, yeah we are here the post detail page that's where we have our c form so over here we are going to say if our c form dot is valid okay if it is valid then we are going to say uh, under normal circumstance we are going to say c form dot save but there are some few things we want to sort out over here we can't just do this okay if we do this it is not going to work properly in the sense that we need to assign the post and the author to it so just as we did in our previous videos we are going to call or have a variable instance over here and we are going to commit this to false so that we don't save it yet and the first thing we need to do is we need to um assign an author to this so we are going to say um, instance dots and let's go back to the comment model and see what we have over here so within the comment model you see we can have a user so a comment has to be assigned to a user and also a comment has to be assigned to a post so in order to do that we can do instance dot user should be equal to the request dot user that's going to be the logged in user and we're also going to do instance dot post should be equal to post and where am i getting this post from this post from is actually or this post is actually being derived over here so as you can see this query set is saying that the post model dot objects dot get and we are getting a particular post by the primary key so this is actually going to make it or going to assign it to a particular post that particular post and finally we are going to call instance dot save over here because now we can save this 
and i would want to return redirect and i would want us to redirect to so clearly if we comment over here i would want us to stay over here so we are going to redirect into the post um detail page and let's come here and come and see this so within the post detail page this is going to be our url so i'm going to grab this Control c and put this over here but like you saw me do with other examples you realize that this particular page is also identified by the primary key of the post okay and that primary key is actually what we have passing in as int over here so once again we are going to say pk should be called to the post.id and it is within this post we are getting the id from all right so when i save this i think we are in business so when i refresh we don't seem to have any problem over here so over here i'm going to go into the post over here so remember we are logged in as admin and we are going into the second post so this second post has zero comments there's no comments showing up over here so now let's put in a post or a comment actually and i'll say second post comment so when i press comment we see that the count has increased to one you can see we have the comment showing up over here and inside the back end when we refresh we are going to see the second post comment over here but basically remember we are logged in as admin okay so admin is the one making this comment over here later on we are going to modify the interface over here so if i come here to come and refresh yes we have the post comment over here and when i click on this you can see that the user has been assigned to admin all right now let's do same for kenneth so let me log in as kenneth and let me type in kenneth's password so kenneth wants to make a comment over here and already admins comments is showing up over here so i'm going to say um i'm going to say this is kenneth's comments all right so i'll click on comments and now we have two comments over here so we have the first one which is um second post comment by admin and this is kenneth's comment all right so if i'm um, to come back here and of course before i can have access to this i need to uh, if i refresh it's going to log me out because you can only log in once into the application it's just like um facebook twitter you can just log in once as far as using a particular computer is concerned so first of all let me just log out and log in once again and i'll log in as admin and if i am to come in here so remember this is the comment admin made so as you can see the user assigned to it is admin and this is a comment ken made or kenneth made so when i click on this you can see that the user assigned to this is kenneth all right so i think this is good for us so this is going to be the end of this video now you find this video very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambrotech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who will find this content very useful at cambrotech we say learn programming you can do it don't forget to pass any comments or ask any questions if you do have one thank you very much Bye bye